All right, module two, problem solving with computers. Answer the question. Right? At a library, a set of data representing outstanding customer balances exists. Each line consists of a customer's ID, followed by the number of books outstanding, and the rate, and the rate at which fines are charged. If the fine rate is P, the customer pays four fifty for each of the books. If the fine rate is N, the customer pays six fifty. Assuming that all data is valid. Okay, so this is the data that we're going to get. So obviously, there's our file that are going to be. We have to read through these three values here and then we get 999. In this place, we'll write, write an algorithm to read the data, determine the following. Total outstanding fines for each customer. So let's go through what, what each piece of data represents and we could write it. Each line consists of a customer's ID, so this is ID, followed by the number of books outstanding, so this is number of books, and the rate at which fines are charged, Character. so this is R for rate. If the fine rate is P, P is 450, and N is 650. So I have the variables that I need to have will be ID and an R. Okay, the total outstanding fines for each customer, so the first customer will be you're basically multiplying um n by whatever the rate is total amount of fines paid under each of the categories n and p all right every time you do an n you'll have to add it up calculate it total number of fines paid overall so we had to create a variable for total and any number of customers we had to keep account customer id for the highest fine paid we'll have to put in our max all right it's probably our 15 markers then yeah all 15 marks all right okay so we're doing an algorithm so it doesn't have to be code so we'll just say algorithm to find algorithm for bookstore we have to declare some variables the variables that we have to declare would be as follows we need to get ID, um, ID number of books and read. So ID number of books and read. Then we have to do outstanding fines. OF for outstanding fines. After we do outstanding fines, we have to say total on amount of P. So we have to get N total and P total. After we have N total and P total, what are we looking for again? We have to get total total and count of customers. So we have to get total and count customer count. Is it? Oh no, we also have to get my. Alright, so just set everything to zero at the start nobody will get vaccinated if you do all right start what are we going to start by doing we're going to read the file we have to say open file open file and read mode and then we're just going to say see all data valid okay so we could say um read id file id is not equal to 999 so why the id is not 999 what do i want to do i would read the other two things i'll read in the end and read the and an R. Then I want to say if R is equal to E, then OF, which is what did I name OF for? Outstanding fine is equal to N multiplied by 450, 4.5. And then I need to find the total. No, I can find total that's not. I need to find the totals of the N totals and the P total. So I'll say N total is equal to N total plus OF. Else OF is equal to N multiplied by 6.5 and this one is P total is equal to P total plus OF and then I will end this and as soon as I finish now I can say total is equal to total plus OF because whichever one it chooses doesn't matter it's going to have to add back up to the total and I found the total um, number of customers that just are counted the files so now I have to check the max now yeah Okay, if OF is greater than max, then max is equal to OF. Right, I'll find the, the outstanding fines and check to see which outstanding fine you own and how much it will cost. And any number of customers, well, once we get a valid customer, we say count plus plus, count is equal to count plus one. And then we could end the while, and that should get us there. All right, so it said read the data and determine the following, so then ask for us to print it out at the end. So did we determine everything properly? The outstanding fines for each customer, which of the end by the R, yes, we did that. The amount of fines paid for N and P, yes, we have the N, N total and the P total. Um, the amount of fines paid overall, we have the total total after the two ifs. I mean, after the if else, it will calculate total. Then we have the max to see if the office fines greater than max, then max is equal to office fine. Yep, and then the count will count all of them. That looks like it is. Oh, we have to keep track of the customer ID. Okay, yeah. 
three, four, correct. So, okay. so we want to keep track of the customer ID. So if we keep on track of the customer ID, we will say um, max ID is equal to ID, whatever ID one right now. So I'll have this other variable called max ID. All right. yep. And that'll be the only thing I'll be saying here. Because it's not just the max one you want, you want the max ID. So you will have the max there. Distinguish between a bounded iteration and unbounded iteration. Um, bounded, the start and end value are clearly defined example or c is equal to 1 to 10 unbounded the end of the iteration is dependent on the condition in the while example while c is greater than 10 right see write an algorithm to find the sum of all multiples of 7 between 21 and 210 inclusive they are um, 4 c is equal to uh, 21 to 210 do if 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 if, if c mod 1 is equal to 0 then sum is equal to sum plus c plus mod will regard the multiples fit and it's marks man i don't know it's like this exact question would have been four marks in another paper. But in some some other papers, this question was seven marks and you had to find the multiples of two things. Yeah, we don't complain. All right. In the space provided on page 17, construct a flowchart to represent the following algorithm. On oh, no, the idle space, I'll, I'll copy the um, appeal after. So let's start with read name. They even give us a starter. They just say read name. One time, just jump straight into it. Oh, to read name. That's right, that's enough. I got a full pen color right now. Alright, so going straight into the parallelogram, which will be read name. After I read the name, if name is equal to end data, that will be a diamond because if it's a selection. If name equal to end data. So my answer to that is yes. What am I doing? I'm printing no data supplied. And no data applied. Else the else now is going to be the no and that no carries us to a while. While name is not equal to end data name not equal to end data read amount read quantity read amount read quantity and, and then print this sale is equal to sale right and then read name again no yeah read name after read our name we'll be coming back up to the while said yeah put up there the while said no and we're gonna end up looking back up with this guy here I just had to put stop for anything else. When you didn't see the print stop and stop, and that's good. Alright, so let's double check that. Start, read name. If name is not e if name is equal to end data, print no data supplied. Alright, cool. Else while name is not equal to end data, if the answer to that question is yes, you read the quantity, you read the amount. After read the quantity and the amount, put that inside sale. Or oh, miss out sale is equal to I'm the multiplication for the sale. Okay, let's see if I can use that. Sale is equal to quantity multiplied by amount. That'll be nice. Right. Alright, cool. That's all that was missing there. We print the sale as sale as a parallelogram. Then we have read name as a parallelogram. And it goes back out to check the sale with that. And then if it is a note, that. Alright, so you got send. Mm -hmm. You'll lose one because you have to follow the flowchart exactly as it is. Meaning you have to re you have to respect that the while loop is actually inside the else and you can't go back to the if at the top. Okay, part B now. A communications company provides the following rates for telephone calls. First two minutes, first 20 minutes is 125 per minute. Any additional minutes is 0.25. Write an algorithm that reads an integer value representing the amount of minutes for a call and calculate and print. Huh, the amount of lines that they give here are kind of small boy, but okay. But read minute and uh, Right, so start three minutes. And then we want to say if minutes is less than or equal to 20, then force is equal to minute multiplied by 1.25. Else, if, mean else, if it's not less than 20, it's obviously over 20. Force is equal to minute of 20 by 1.25. I'll take care of the first 20 minutes. Plus minute multiplied by no, plus 0 0.25, which is the force multiplied by minute minus 20 um and then print total all right yeah so there's not a way to do that one besides what the else if else if is basically all they have a company sells video games and wishes to acquire software to track purchases um, all right so the company is selling used video games 
the one so the track was just got some information quite a bit of video game and start back when you have time track with this so um, first is a software company called software plus which writes software applications which will describe any four stages that software plus would generally follow when creating new software all right so this is the software development life, life, life cycle so you would you have you have the acronym uh, you know, planning analysis design and implement or you can get well you have review to if you want all right planning the company would assess the needs of the law and determine if it is feasible to do analysis the uh, company will gather information on what is required determining the uh, input and output design the system uh, design using of uh, and diagram we come up with a structure and then implement the uh, company will code the solution and implement it on the wall. All right, yeah, those four should be good there. Um, if you have, if you have, um, if you have code inside of instead of implements, that's okay. And, um, if you have testing, you could put testing also. Testing is one of them, and review is another one. Okay. All right, that should be it for module two.